Here's our exit. <laughs> yep. This is our exit for the uh, for the dam. Lots of corn. It was pretty cool back there. We didn't, you know, we didn't have the camera going or anything, but as soon as we crossed the Missouri River, you kind of went down, hit the river. You could see the pretty hills on the other side of the river. Those nice green rolling hills everywhere. You can kind of see some in the distance there. Yep. And then we kind of made an ascent back up, flattened out again with the cornfields. But it was really pretty seeing that. That was like the first glimpse of you know, seeing the, the hills, <laughs> not just flat uh, farmland. Which we also like, but. Oh, we like all of it. Look how wide open that looks there. <laughs> there is nothing but farm fields. Look at that. There's our first glimpse at it. Oh, that's pretty. Oh yeah, that is pretty there. See the campground down there. Is that it? Yeah, well, I can see it down there. That yeah. is awesome. We're left tail race campground. It's sort of in the middle. There's a right and a left. He's been so excited about this place, so it better not disappoint. I think it's going to be great. It will be. It's in a beautiful place. Just got to be a little careful. The road's a little rough getting down here to it. Yeah. to turn first no no no. we go past it okay that's the recreational area over here lake sharp yeah this is pretty yeah it is the big bend dam corps, corps of engineers u.s engineers. army There's a campground down there. Oh, it's great. Pretty busy. Oh, this is going to be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The heck of a turn you got to make to get in here. Turn, yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah. You don't expect it when you're driving through those kinds of areas like no. that. It and looks like flat farmland and then all of a sudden it's hilly and... And it opens up and then you see this kind of stuff. This yeah. is cool. Yeah, campground's pretty busy. And I still have full cell service. Do you? Nice. That, this is cool right here. Yeah. Yeah. There's your power plant there. Can you see the water coming through the, the dam there? Not really. You can see how rough it is okay. close to the dam, but you can't really. Yeah. This is going to be a good place to ride the monkey around so I yes. can uh, see it a little bit better. Oh, this is so nice. Yeah, this is great. I think we're going to be, if I remember right, we're at one of these sites right over here. Okay. And I was trying to get something close to the dam, but you don't know what it looks like till you get down here. Yeah. That is the thing with campgrounds, isn't it? Never know what you're going to get. Yep. All right, we are all set up here at the Left Tail Race Campground. This is a beautiful place. It is pretty full. A lot of uh, people here for the Labor Day weekend. All the sites are pretty nice, asphalt. There is a surprise though. I wasn't aware of this. You have a uh, power hookup and that's it. 
There's no water, there's no sewage hookup. Luckily, luckily for us, I keep water in our onboard tank. So no uh, running water, except for just to run the sink or whatever that we need to. So there's a, <clears throat> the bathhouse is just right over there. So it looks like we're gonna be using the bathhouse to take our showers. We, we normally use our shower in the Kodiak here. But it is a real pretty site here. I like the, I like how they got these sun shades built. Uh, solid concrete picnic table. And we have a lot of greenery right behind us right here. A lot of open space. They got the park out there. Looks like they do the, uh, I forget what they call that, with the Frisbees. They've got that course here. Of course, you can see the dam right back there. Nice place. Got a fire pit here to use as well. But the uh, the water thing surprised me when she gave me the map. She was showing me uh, different places where there's a hydrant, a water spigot where you can, she said, if you need water, you can use any of these here. And uh, I didn't realize what she meant was that we didn't have water hookups here, but it's not the end of the world. We'll be okay without that. Keep water on board. So if we need to, uh, you know, run the sinks to wash dishes, wash our hands, wash our faces in the morning, things like that. We can do that right here. So we're gonna go ahead and start getting set up. We're gonna cook dinner tonight, cook dinner tomorrow. I think I had said that we were gonna be here for two solid days. In reality, we're only gonna be here today, all day tomorrow, and then leaving the day after that. So uh, so we'll be here one full day. We had, we had to change our plans and pushed everything around just a little bit. And it's really hard to keep up with those kinds of things. We got it all written down on itinerary, but I, I didn't remember that we're only gonna have one solid day here. I thought it was two, but anyway, we're gonna get set up. We're gonna start cooking some dinner here in a little while. I might show you some of that, but other than that, that's, that is it for today. I am planning on getting the monkey off and I wanna ride around this place tomorrow. We'll take the camera so that we can get some good shots and do a little sightseeing of the area, see the water, you know, the river and see whatever we can, all right? All right, well, we made it to the evening here on Labor Day. At the, uh, at the campground here at the uh, Big Bend Dam. So I've got dinner cooking right behind me right there. We're using the 10 inch lodge camp, uh, camp oven and I've got a pork roast in there. So we're gonna cook it for a little while, get it kind of get it cooked down for, it's probably gonna be at least an hour, maybe even two hours, we'll cook that thing down. And then after, after that, we're gonna dump some vegetables in there and then cook it for about another hour after, after that. So we just put it on. I'm using the uh, camp ring here at the campground. It saved me a little bit of work from having to set up my own uh, cook table. And it's coming along. So like I said, we just set that. Abby's over here trying to uh, fend off the flies. Once I brought the food out and the beer, they just come from everywhere. So I wanted to uh, show you this too. I've got my, uh, I've got a beer poured in my mug here, but I want to show you a beer. Actually, I think we showed it in the Omaha video. All right, I got one. I bought two of them. And it's this guy right here. So from the Nebraska Brewing Company, this is the Moab, mother of all Bettys. One of their beers was called the something Betty. But anyway, I got two of these because these are kind of a unique beer. They are a very heavy, rich beer. It's a, it's a stout, 13.7% alcohol which is the highest alcohol content beer I have ever had. You only need one. Yeah, so I, th I only bought two, and today I wanted to drink one, so I poured a little bit in my mug over there, and I am sipping on this right here. And all it needs, really all you need is a couple of these, and you're good to go. So I'm going to have this one right here and finish it off, and I'll probably switch over to a couple cores later on. I'm hydrating with water for now. I've been doing that too. We've been drinking water all afternoon so we could have us a couple beers out here. So it's, um, feels good out here. The breeze is coming through. It's just beautiful. This place is just awesome. And we're gonna cook us a nice dinner. Good. All 
All right, so our roast has been cooking not quite an hour, but it's getting close. It's about that time where I'm actually going to start some uh, fresh charcoal. All right, so let's take a look at it and see what it looks like, how it's doing. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Looking pretty right there. I'm actually going to temp it because I just want to see about where the uh, internal temp is at right now. But I'm going to go ahead and get some more charcoal started. That's what I have my little stove set up for right here. We got our charcoal stove I used to start it in the little chimney. So we're going to get some more going and uh, probably let it cook for probably about another hour before we add our veggies. This is after one hour of cooking. You can see we're still at just over 130. A little ways to go. All right, so we're two hours in on our roast. It's getting pretty close to being done. So we've got our veggies right there. Onions, potatoes, carrots, garlic, and some cauliflower. cauliflower. Let's go ahead and dump them in. And you go ahead and get a good look at how the roast is doing. It smells so good. Look at that. Yeah. I'm gonna set that right there. I'm just gonna try to easily dump these guys in around the roast no nope, one down sorry garlic on there yeah hear the sizzle mm -hmm. I like it so these usually take about an hour to uh, cook down you know get to where you can eat them so they're not tough and that's all we're gonna do I'm gonna start another basket of uh, charcoal because these are about to die out It's looking good already though, ain't it? Yeah. Trying to get all that garlic and stuff off there. It's on the pan. We're trying to do this just because there's uh, no water. We're trying to minimize our washing that we have to do. All right. Put this back on and let her cook for about an hour. Fish are already starting to jump out there. It's about that time. Yep. It's about that time indeed. Just enjoying a nice walk down to the point here. And the fish are flipping everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. Look at them. Did you see that one right there? They only do that when you're not trying to look at them. Yeah. All right, guys, so dinner is about ready, but we're going to eat inside tonight because the flies are just really bad right now. Ever since I started cooking and bringing the food out here, mixing everything up and getting it ready to cook, and, you know, the beer cans, just everything just attracts the flies. So. We're kind of tired of the flies, so we're going to go eat inside the Kodiak tonight. So Abby's been inside there getting the uh, table ready. But I thought I'll, I'm going to give you a uh, peek before we serve it up. Get my lid lifted here. I've also got some muffins cooking there. We really love the, uh, the uh, fruit muffins mix. It's just something really easy to, uh, to cook. But let's go ahead and take a look at our roast and veggies. There you go. Pull it back a little, cover up the screen there. But um, yeah, so I mean, that's done. This has been cooking for almost three hours. We're about two hours and 50 minutes right now. So the roast is done. Veggies should be done. I tasted one of the carrots about 10 minutes ago, and it was about ready. 
And I'll show you this right here, just so you can see what we're talking about. This is a strawberry muffin, just something you pick up at the grocery store, mix it up with some water, and I add a little butter to the top of it, so it's cooking good right there. Put that back down. So that is it, right there. Dinner is about ready. About to pull it up, serve it up. We got our beautiful sunset with the haze <laughs> around the sun. Got some uh, late arrivals coming into the park there. We are gonna go in and we're gonna eat our dinner and we're gonna enjoy the rest of the evening here and have a good time. Tomorrow is, uh, you know, load up and uh, pull out of here day. And we are gonna be heading a little bit further west to the Badlands. We are super excited to see the Badlands. It's gonna be a new national park for us. Um, for our stamp book, for our sticker collection, and of course the experience too. So we're really looking forward to that. So I think I'm going to sign off for now for this video. We'll pick it up tomorrow and show you some more of the drive down to the, the, uh, the Badlands National Park. We'll see you there.